everyone, and welcome back to our favorite Walt Disney World Park, Animal Kingdom. We are here with Kim from Soarin' Over the Magic, who we've been talking to for a long time and haven't actually met until today. We're super excited to meet you, Kim. Super Thanks for joining us. What are we doing today? A scavenger hunt. A scavenger hunt. If you've been following our channel for a little bit, we do these scavenger hunts every once in a while as a way to kind of freshen the park experience up. We've done one at Hershey Park, we've done one at Magic Kingdom, and now we're gonna do one at our favorite place. If you're new to the channel, I'm Tim. I'm Katie. This is Kim, and we do things like this. So here is our scavenger hunt. If you guys are interested in participating in this scavenger hunt, the next time you come to Animal Kingdom, we'll make sure that it's linked in the description for you. We made this ourselves, so it does have the occasional typo. The Padoran Banshee of any kind. Oops. Though by the time you see this, I will have fixed it. Well, there we go. There's one item right away. Please do not feed the animals, son. I literally just read it and I was like, oh, we'll find that soon. It's like park policy. So as of this moment, we have made our way through the front entrance and the oasis to Discovery Island where the Tree of Life resides. We are right here. We have all this space to play with, but we do have lightning lane passes made through Genie Plus and the individual lightning lane because we're suckers like that for Pandora rides later in the afternoon slash evening. So I think we're probably going to work our way the opposite way around, pick up what we can. Everest is closed today, which is unfortunate because of the reverb. And most of everything else I think we're gonna find on the trek. So it looks like Katie found a stone carving. I'm not gonna lie, I was anticipating we'd have to go on the Maharaja jungle trek to I get here. I thought that's where we'd find that one. I think that's where we're gonna find Fancy Fountain. Yeah. Dun 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 dun. Crocodiles count as dinosaurs if you watch the Land Before Time series all the way through. I spy with my little eye a dinosaur skeleton of any kind. And there's even a photo pass photographer here, which is something that we've never seen in as many times as we've been to AK and the dinosaur area. Oh, what have you done? One job. <laughs> one job. <laughs> now we do have a helpful Iguanodon as one of the items on our list. This Iguanodon is looking very cute, but not especially helpful. I think to catch an Iguanodon in the act of being helpful, a good Samaritan dinosaur, if you will, we would have to get on the ride dinosaur. Unfortunately, wait time is looking a little bit high for our taste. So for now, I say we keep moving. We're gonna go play carnival games. Heck yeah. yeah. Let's do it! The most bizarrest land in any Disney park. One thing that does look especially out of place here are these two tables. Now why are these tables here? Well, there used to be something else here. But not anymore! So that's our extinct attraction. Bye, Prime I'm sorry to say I won't. In pieces. I'm not sure I'll miss it. Hey, you mean here in the middle, Wow, wow. Oh, oh, oh. Time to get back on the open road. Okay, so we have left the land of the dinos and we're headed towards the tallest attraction in the park. Unfortunately, we cannot ride this attraction right now, but Reverb. we will Reverb. look at it and check it off of our list. So we've accomplished a fair amount in a minimal amount of time here. What have we achieved? We saw the Hakuna Matata pin at the kiosk. And then we have spent a few minutes in front of the tallest attraction, which is Everest. Am I insane? Or is that Splash Mountain? And if I'm not insane, why did they put a rabbit in there? Kim finds the coolest stuff in the parks, guys. If you're not following Soarin' Over the Magic, you are missing out on all these little tidbits. Little details. Little details make the park. Well, we came over here hoping to get a glimpse of a kite, because we needed that too, but look what we found instead. Some Lion King characters! It's Timon and Rafiki! Rafiki's in a moment. Katie just stopped off for her morning coffee, so it's feeling revitalized. Is it Joffrey's? Yeah. It's the fairy tale latte, so it's espresso, dark chocolate syrup, coconut syrup, milk. We are heading back over the bridge towards the Tree of Life and Discovery Island once again because we are getting a little bit munchy and not wanting to take on the Maharaja Jungle Trek just yet. We will circle around back to it because there's a lot on that trek that we need for our scavenger hunt. For the moment, we're gonna try to keep very close to Nomad Lounge where you can join the walk-up list if it doesn't hit capacity right away. And in the meantime, we're gonna try to explore the Otter Den. There's a couple things, a couple critters that we can eyeball over there if they're out and about. Have you spotted a kangaroo? 
See them in between the, it's in the leaves, right behind the stick. Yeah. I'm zooming, I'm zooming. There. Oh, Look there he is. See it? He just switched his ear. Yep, there he is. Here we have that red bird that's in the middle of the stick. It's a scarlet macaw. And then we have that blue and yellow bird over there that looks similar to the blue bird in macaw. And that is Mango. And Mango is a blue and yellow macaw. Now what's really cool is these four birds are definitely in from a half a mile away. They're in here half a mile away. So this is a little bit of a training session we have going on. The lot in my year are actually some of our younger birds, some of our newer additions to our leading pattern flock. So they're getting a little bit more information on how to go to those perches, and then hopefully next time they'll fly out there instead of being asked to step up onto it. I would say that qualifies as at least a feathered friend in flight. I would also say that qualifies as a live fish and a mighty big one. So we are taking a little bit of a lunch break here at Nomad Lounge. The walk-up list was at capacity, but we were still able to get bar seating. And it would be impolite to dine at a bar and not get a drink, so Katie took the bullet for us. I got the DeLang's Delight, which I don't remember what's in it, but I was not expecting a full glass. A humongous glass. So, if you see me start to lose it later in the day, you know why. <laughs> so we went ahead and ordered the Tiffin's bread service. It's a little bit smaller portion-wise than what you could expect from Sanaa and very different bread. And being a chemist, combining one thing and another thing. Get off the spoon. Chemistry tastes delicious. All right, with our bellies full, we are now headed back towards the Tree of Life. Then we're gonna try to get a couple items off our list by ducking into the stores near the Tree of Life on Discovery Island. I think we're able to probably find a safari hat and Tree of Life merch in there. Hey, someone's ready for safari. Safari hat. And we have a crazy amount of Tree of Life merch. I think it's safe to say we can check this one off the list. Cha-ching. Spotted otter family noodling under a tree branch. If you haven't noticed, this is not the most efficient way to make it around the park by any stretch of the imagination. Like if we were to go in a complete circle or a closed loop, it'd be a lot faster. But we're thinking of things as we read through the list. The list isn't in any particular order. We're just kind of exploring and seeing what we can see. You ready for a little two for one action? We got a bicycle, and right above it, we got Fishwa Mickey as our painting of a Disney character. Katie is dying to get some hidden Mickeys counts. on this list. If Kim agrees it's a Mickey, then I'm counting it as a Mickey. It's a Mickey. Number one! <laughs> a bicycle. Painting right. of a Disney a character. Mickey painting of a Disney character. And we're gonna put one tally for a hidden Mickey. And in case you thought finding a bicycle was gonna be difficult, it's not. We're now heading onto the Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail, one of our favorites. But then we do have a lot of favorites because this is our favorite park. All the exploration trails are awesome. You should definitely make the time to pursue each and every one of them. They don't all have to be done on the same day. Gorilla Falls is a very different trail from the Maharaja Jungle Track. You can't do it all in one day, but you should do it. Look, just beyond the grate is the pot we need for our scavenger hunt. I just wanted to point out the naked mole rats, because they're cute. It's a bunch of Rufuses. What is that, that freaking thing? That, that, it's a naked mole rat. And since it's a little bit nippy to be getting on Kali River Rapids today, I'm gonna go ahead and count this as our something wet. And also something beautiful. Funny thing about the gorilla trail is that it takes a while to get to the actual gorillas. So. So much to see along the way. At last we have found some gorilla friends. They're feeling a little bit camera shy today. But they're here. Check. All right fam, we're getting close to the window of operation for all of our lightning links. Literally everything we've booked today happens after 2.30. So we've been saving all of our rides for the end. We know exactly what we're gonna pull from each ride because we've been over this list a couple of times. For now, we're headed towards India and the Maharaja Jungle Track to mop up with a couple of items that we're pretty sure we can find there. And then it'll just be fun, fun, fun till Daddy takes the T-Bird away. And tucked away back here near the Maharaja Jungle Track entrance, we find ourselves a decorative fountain. Ah! When I put a family of ducks on the list, I wasn't anticipating this kind of interaction. They are so cute. 
Did you find one? I didn't find one. It was all Kim. Oh, it's always Kim. She's. You gotta travel with an experienced Disney. An experienced Mickey hunter. Hi. <laughs> oh my God. Clever. Clouds are a good spot to look to. I don't see any clouds here, but. I remember one being in clouds. Right, we've located some clouds. Oh, it's this one up on the left. Oh, yep. There it is. Yep. Okay. Dead on. There's a Mick. Is this a hidden Mickey right here? This is a hidden Mickey! Kim! I found one! Yay! I did it all by myself! No, we're only talking about mine right now! No! No, everyone everyone pay attention to this one. This one This one is more significant because because I found it. Is this a hidden Mickey? No, that's poison ivy. To the Pandoran Caves we go. Tavi River Journey gets a bad rap because it's slow and there's usually a long wait for it, but I love it. It's so zen. You sit in a little pod and you float down river. The shaman sings to you. Nothing like it in the world. So zen. Makes my heart so happy. Plus, we were able to check off a Navi in its natural, natural habitat. habitat. Kim, look! It's another Kim! Hi! We, of course. We've been on a scavenger hunt. We've been looking for someone with one of our names, and this is a Kim. So Hi. you're also a Kim. We are getting dangerously close to having successfully completed every item on our scavenger hunt for the first time. For as many scavenger hunts as we've done, we've never actually completed one. Headed into Kilimanjaro Safaris to see some animals. But we're taking the lightning route. We are in the queue. About to board a bus, explore the savannah. I'm sure you're gonna see all the animals before we head out, so a few points is for us. So it's amazing to keep our hands, arms, legs, and feet inside the vehicle at all times. Even when we are stopped and on the reserve, we will stop for animals whether they are in the right path or on the side of photo opportunities. Now it looks like there's a tower of giraffes on our left. Notice the baby giraffe, which is the shortest one. Baby's right there by himself. <laughs> Giraffe crossing. Wow, our friend is circling us. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably the most interesting safari right oh here he comes again <laughs> <laughs> oh it's right must have heard the food <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> it's like if they don't take it i'll take it this is just really large they also have large hearts their hearts are about two feet long <laughs> it's like, are you gonna share with me? <laughs> this is a wild ride on the safari. Good job, Mom. But these are the white rhinos. And we'll see more. This is not the white rhinos. Like I mentioned earlier, oh, they weigh a lot more than the black rhinos. The they lagoon around the flamingo pit is a hidden Mickey. But that means when they are born, they're not actually. You can only see it from above. Right? I think it's cool that you but can determine which are more mature than others by simply looking at their shade of pink. And just like that, we're back again in Dino Land, USA. It's not like you're going to If I can bring you back from the Cretaceous period, it stands to reason that I can bring back a live dinosaur with you. And not just any dinosaur. Take a look at this guy. He's an iguanodon. And I'm certain that he is the key to understanding these magnificent creatures. <laughs> Guess 
who made it back with you. I'd better find him before security does. Thanks for everything. Holy moly, that was a wild ride on dinosaur. That was, it was felt cute. like it's a little bit more intense than usual. But then I, I often feel that way. But I, mean, I think it, it was just the back road. It depends think, yeah, on the road, the, the, the car, the how long it's been driving that day. Yeah, but that was a lot. So cool. One and done. And something scary, because we already seen two things that were scary today. So we're definitely checking that off. And I'm adding the hidden Mickey from the safari. Up to eight Mickeys! And now we're on our way to Pandora for our final lightning lane of the day and arguably the most important one and the most expensive. <laughs> Flight of Passage. Looks like the standard queue for Flight of Passage has about a 95 minute wait. But we're not getting in the standard queue, are we? And up we go. I don't like the lightning lane system. I don't know that anyone truly does, but I will say it does feel nice to cut the standard queue right out of the equation. We're not gonna walk on, but we're gonna shave about 45 to 50 minutes off of our wait. That's worth 11 bucks to me. Dr. Ogden is the foremost expert on studying the Ikron and has spent years researching them. Unfortunately, banshees live high in rookeries and humans can't get anywhere near them without <laughs> becoming their lunch. But the Na'vi and avatars can. member signature, Joe Rohde up top, James Cameron over here, John Lando, John Lando. and it's a Mickey, and it's a Mickey. Check. We like to follow up our trips to Pandora with a stop in at Satuli Canteen where we often get bowls that have boba pearls on them. So what do we have left to get here? I mean, well we just did the flight of passage so we saw a we banshee. banshee. Boop, boop. And we got our boba, boba pearls. Boba, boba pearl balls. Thank you, Satuli Canteen. So that leaves... Spiders of unusual size. Spiders of unusual size. And an American flag. And something and exciting. Something exciting! Well, there's but one place to find spiders of unusual size. It's one of the few Disney attractions where they ask you not to do video recording during the show, so... You'll have to trust that we saw spiders of unusual size. You know, we were all walking out talking and I was saying I'm always very hard on It's Tough to Be a Bug, but to be honest, it's really not that bad a show. It's, it's pretty cute. It's just and the funny. fact that it's like the centerpiece attraction in the Tree of Life, the icon itself, that makes it a little underwhelming. I think if it's got like a 10 minute wait, I would hop in that line. Yeah, I wouldn't lightning lane it. No, all. never ever lightning lane it. Dreamers of all ages, I give you your Final scavenger hunt item, the American flag. Well, pen ultimate actually, because you had an idea for something exciting, which is the last item on our list. My something exciting was that we had a fantastic day with Kim from Sword of Magic. <laughs> yep. like, guys, she is lovely. An absolutely stunning example of how you should treat cast members in the park and other park guests. I've just been so impressed all day. And so she I knows it's so really... much too. Oh, yes. YouTube and Instagram, so and over the magic. Kim is awesome at what she does and we loved hanging out with her today. We are so excited that we have finally completed one of our scavenger hunts. And we got in entirety. Nine hidden Mickeys. And nine hidden Mickeys. I know there's more but we're impressed by that. Every day at Animal Kingdom is a fantastic day at Animal Kingdom but this was one for the books. Thank you guys for joining us. If you're new to the channel I'm Tim. I'm Katie. That's Kim from Soarin' Over the Magic and we will see you next time every day. Is a new adventure. Boom!